all right? We must understand that Sahaja Yoga is not done through brain activities. Like many people think that if you just tell yourself you have to be like this, it will work out. If you have to all the time inform yourself that, oh, you must get rid of a particular problem, it will be all right. Or some people think that if they tell somebody uh, that this is wrong with you and you should get well, it will be all right. It is not so. Because Sahaja Yoga does not work on mental level. It works on spiritual level, which is a much higher level than the mental level. So what you have to do is to understand how to correct your chakras. And you must understand how to work out your machine. Perhaps people still live on mental level and try to solve problems on mental level. And that's why all the problems start coming up. Now, if you have a problem with any chakras or there is anything catching or you find that there's something wrong, no use working it out on any other level but spiritual level. But first of all, People do not understand that you have to work it through your heart and not through your brain. When we have to work out things through our brain, we try to develop our brain, isn't it? By memorizing, by practicing something, teaching our brain how to think, how to go this way, that way. We try to train our brain. Now we have to train our heart in Sahaja Yoga. And to train our heart in Sahaja Yoga, <coughs> One has to know, first of all, that it is enveloped either by ego or by superego. The limbic area actually represents the heart. And if there is ego, heart will always be so-called. It will not be the real heart that will be working, but it's only mental, mental projection. And you will feel that I'm doing it from my heart. That's not true. Now then, supposing what should we do if we have ego? You might say you should try to sort of tell yourself that that's not good and this and, uh, this and that and all kinds of mental suggestions or auto-suggestions or this, the way uh, psychiatrists and all that give you suggestions. That's again mental. So that's not the way it is going to work out. We must understand that for that what we have to do is to raise the left side and put it to the right side. There's no other way out. You have to just work it out with your hands. Your hands are working it out and not your brain. So use your hands and the methods of Sahaja Yoga. Now everyone must have a regular sitting in the water every day. That's important. Every morning you must do your meditation. Because on mental level we feel we have been with Mother, all right, this exposure is all right. You came, you saw how Indians are and how they are light on their feet and how they are good for Sahaja Yoga. But after seeing all that, you have to know that Sahaja Yoga is to be worked out, it is not to be thought out. You just cannot think about it. Whatever you may try to do through your thought, you cannot achieve any results in Sahaja Yoga. You have to use your hands, you have to use your feet, uh, you have to soak your feet in the water because water is the ocean. All these five chakras or say six chakras, which are, I say five because the one is the Muladhara chakra, which is the seventh, and the topmost is the brain. So in between five chakras which are there are to be handled fully with the idea that they are basically made of matter. 
and these five elements constitute the body of these chakras. Now these chakras, if they are to be corrected, we have to correct them by taking out all the problems of these chakras into the elements from which they come. For example, a person who is a very right-sided person, so he has to give a balance by the left side. Of course, raising with the hand is all right, but what about the element? Right-sided person has all the elements which give heat. We can say the light, we can say the fire. So for people who are right-sided, the light is not going to help much. Like if you put the light before the photograph and those who are ego-oriented people, if you just use the light, it's not going to work out. So what is going to work out is the Mother Earth and the water element, which is cooling. Even ice is very helpful to people who are right-sided. So all cooling effects should be used for correcting your right-sidedness, so that you cool it down. Same about food. In food, those who are right-sided people should take to foods which are left-sided, that is carbohydrates, means they should become partly vegetarians or quite a lot of vegetarians, and should eat things at the most like chicken but not fishes not seafoods, because they are all hot. That's how you treat your material side of your chakras. Now the left-sided people should use again the deepa means the light or the fire to correct their left side. Also in food, such people should take more to nitrogenous means protein and foods like that. They should take more proteins. Now, as far as Sahaja Yoga is concerned, the basic thing is Kundalini. And the Kundalini, as I have told you, is the pure desire. Again, listen to it carefully, pure desire. 